Alright guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane and Melody and today we are back in Wyoming County. That's right. We are in Pineville today, the county seat. Yes, we're going to show you all the sights and sounds of Pineville. That's right, and we hope you guys will enjoy this look. If you do, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Yes, let's get on the road. Alright. Well, where better to start? Than outside this glorious courthouse. Yes, Wyoming County and their beautiful architecture. I love that clock on the top. And I know I do too. It's like the green copper. I love that. Yeah. So they have a beautiful little county seat here. Yeah, they do. This is about as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. I love that little bell. <clears throat> so it dates back to 1916. Yes. Man, this, this is, is absolutely beautiful. I know. It's like the Roman Coliseum of courthouses or something. Love that. Mm -hmm. And then we can show you this side too, looking mm -hmm. into the street. That's a pretty good little hike. Mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, let me... We got this, of course, a war memorial. And better look at the bell. Either, so. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that house up there, but they have a beautiful view. Oh my gosh, yeah. Very picturesque town, you know. Look, you can see the library right from here. Oh yeah. It's cute. That's great. So you can see that on the camera, yeah. Right. And I'm halfway up the steps and you can still see how tiny Melody is from this far. I mean, this is a good little hike. Massive structure. So, yes, well worth a stop to see. All right, so here is a lovely statue of Reverend W.H.H. H. Cook. Looks like quite the serious man, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He was a soldier, a statesman, and a minister. Born November 5th, 1840 and died February 11th, 1923. So this was erected by friends of his. He obviously laid a big impression in his time. Yes. So I was talking, well, we were both talking about how these steps are like the steps in Rocky and I keep trying to get him to run up it and I'll sing the song as he goes, but dun 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 dun. <laughs> if we get 10,000 views, I'll do it. I'm kidding, I am. <laughs> yeah, come back and do it. Yeah. <laughs> You have to come back. Yeah. some of the beautiful homes here. Yeah, a little bit more residential area, but. Yeah, there was a shop back there that was run down. Um, but yeah, these houses are cute. Yeah, they are. And getting into the downtown area. Yes. We'll go back by that courthouse and so forth, so. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see it from here. How cool is that? Now, did we film it already? Yes, we did, but it was blinding sun. Uh -huh. We didn't want to punish you folks like that. That's right. <laughs> All you have seen was us complaining about the sign. <laughs> so it's a Castle Rock Lodge. Yes. And yeah, this is a downtown area and like we were talking, uh, have a cute little downtown, but we were both kind of surprised about the population. Yeah. It's, um, it was 638, an estimate for 2021. And so. it seems a lot busier than that, doesn't it? It does, yeah. You would think there'd be more going on, especially with it being the county seat and everything. 
there's always jobs provided with, you know, county offices and that kind of thing. Yeah, to the left is where the courthouse was that we stopped mm -hmm. at, and then Pineville Pharmacy and the Trails cool. Lodging. So yeah. Apparently some of this may be from the ATV traffic, like you were saying earlier. Yeah, there's actually ATV and cabin rentals there in front of us, that big real brick building, Happy yeah. Trails. There is the library. That's such a neat lettering on there, I think. I know. I love that. Yeah, so like we said, Pineville is the county seat. Um, at one time, Oceana was. Oceana. Oh, really? Me. Yeah, we said that in the Oceana video. Did you not watch it? It hasn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, wait, yes, it has. Well, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Trying to weasel out of responsibility. Not listening to me. <laughs> Look at the river with the bridge, how pretty. Yes. Yeah. Um, but Pineville was settled by William Short in 1853. So just a shade before the Civil War. Mm hmm. So it was yeah. In Virginia back then. And there was um, a Hiram Clay settled around 1863. Um, and the community was actually called Castle Rock at that time. We're seeing a lot of references to Castle Rock. Boy, look at the ATVs. Yes, and Pineville Elementary on the left. Pineville Elementary, yeah. Yeah. We, were in, we hit the jackpot oh, before yeah, that population look at hit. that. Man. All Jose Grill and Cantina. That looks like a pretty good spot to That's check out. That's how busy that is. It is. And there's Pineville Middle School on the left. Um, and then there on the right was Gas and Oil Company. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like there's some good opportunities for jobs. I guess people live in other areas and kind of drive in. Yeah. But, yeah, so the town was called Castle Rock to begin with. A lot of references to that. Um, and the post office was once named Rock Castle. The town was renamed Pineville for a local pine forest. And it was incorporated as a town under that name in 1907. Okay. Yes. Um, and it was just, it was built on a pine forest. So, that's how it got its name. Pineville. Makes sense, right? Sure does. So, in 1907, when it was officially incorporated, is when it replaced Oceana as county seat. Okay, it seems like a good place to turn around. Well, it does look like a terrible place because they blocked me off from doing so. Go down to the apartment complex. So, Pineville lies along the Guyandot River. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say that because I'm impressed that I can finally pronounce that the right way. And I can't, so that's why I didn't oh, say okay. it. Oh, even better. Hmm. The Guy and Dot River. Let's see it again. Man, look at the ATVs. I've never seen anything like this. That this is, is like... wild. And you were just saying, we haven't seen any ATVs here. <laughs> yeah. That's this so funny. They're all here at the Jose Ole Contino. Yes. No, Ole Jose. Oh. Uh, Pineville Minutemen. That was their mascot, I guess. And that's a nice little store. Easy stop. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want to talk about the notable people for us? Let's do it. Oh, okay. Do it, or you? Well, I know one of them. Yeah. I saw him play. Okay. It's Kurt Warner, not the quarterback, the one that played for the Cardinals and the Giants and the mm -hmm. uh, Rams, but it was Kurt Warner, the running back. Okay. And let me tell you, that guy was a stud in high in high school. He ran all over Richlands, and then he went on to play professional for the Seahawks. The and then the Rams. And he played for Rams too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And you know. then there's Heath Miller, but not Heath Miller from my hometown. Yeah. A different Heath Miller. He is a professional wrestler known in WWE. It goes by the Heath Slater. Oh, okay. That's his WWE name. Yeah, but his name is actually yeah. Heath Miller. And I guess he maybe. And I don't know. I don't know WWE stuff. <laughs> I was never a wrestler, wrestler yeah. wrestling person, but. I used to know more to do now. Yeah. Also, Kenneth Shadrack. He was the first reported casualty of the Korean War. He was from Pineville, so. And they have the same kind of little things up on the light poles for the veterans, for Veterans Day coming up, um, as Oceana had, and I really like that. I guess it's a county-wide thing that they're doing for their towns, and I like that. I appreciate that, so. Here's another thing you appreciate, Tudor's Biscuit World. I do. <laughs> Yes. We both appreciate that. Yes. They are hiring a head cook for $11 an hour. There you go. 
Okay. There's a I'd ice and launch. Plus look for embezzlement, you know me. <laughs> embezzling uh, biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. 900 pound man was arrested today in <laughs> Pineville, West Virginia. So we'll go down this way and see what's down here. Just okay, might as well. It's pretty charged right there. It sure is. There's, yeah. a these, which is another thing I'm, I love. So one thing I read, Pineville is known for a burning rock, and I had never heard of that before, but it's apparently a site where there's like hot air coming from the depths of the earth, and it actually is so hot that it melts off snow and ice in the wintertime. I've also, I've yeah. heard of that place, they're called Melody's Mouth. Aww. <laughs> I swear you. But no, um... Maybe lose my train of thought. Burning rock. <laughs> it's kind of like blowing rock, except it's hot air. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blowing a bunch of hot air, but I think they have like an overlook tower there, and so it's kind of a well-known spot in the pond pool. We, we come zig back to the fork. <laughs> we zigzagged all over Pineville, West Virginia. Yeah, but there's stuff down this way too, so we want to show it a little bit. Pharmacy and some restaurants. Um, good, good Sun Supermarket. I had never heard of Good Sons. I hadn't either. There's Dairy Queen, and it's so good I had to mention it twice. And there's uh, First Community Bank. I used to work for them. But not that one. Ago. Not that one. They've got several branches in southern West Virginia, mm -hmm. in southwest Virginia. There is their funeral home. Pineville Carpets. Gentleman on a bike. Yes. I've seen a lot of people on bikes. Yeah, I have too. So that one says ATVs do not enter. I wonder about that too. I wonder how popular that kind of thing is, you know. I've seen several of those signs and I'm sure that they don't want people just randomly driving ATVs down the road. So wild. I can respect yeah, that. I understand it too. It's like it's a great thing for the economy and that kind of thing, but it's also... You want your space too. Yeah. Yeah. That's understandable. So we want to show this little piece of it and then mm -hmm. head back to higher ground. That's right. I like seeing these little residential area too. Like you said, it looks a lot like the old coal camp set yeah. up. Yeah. Row housing of... Looks like company houses. Yeah. Very much the same floor plan. So... Yeah. Makes you wonder who built that one. It says Cabot Row, which is funny because it said row housing. You just want to show this Dollar General. Yeah. Now, actually, I love this Peacock yeah. Motel. It is really, really cool. Well, this would be a good place to turn so we can show it dead on. Yeah, it would. Um, sub salads and more of the lunchbox. They had a restaurant and a motel. And. It's a daggone shame it's out of business, isn't it? Yep. Subs, something, wings, craft beer. I'm just saying it's pizza, but. Pretty neat, ain't it? That is really neat. Peacock Motel Bistro and Pub. Very cool. Yes. It's got like that cool, like Tweety Railroad kind of feel. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can. I know what you're saying. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I like it. Well, we found the destination yes. for, for Castle Rock, but... Yeah, as you can see, the gate is locked. Yeah. But they have some steps up there you can climb up, and I don't know if you can get to the top of it or not. I don't think so, but it's pretty interesting. It says that the formation was deposited along a large sea which existed here 200 million years ago. Wow. Yes, so it's pretty neat, right? Yeah. So after the sea retreated, the area uplifted and eroded to a plain until the Gondot River established a westerly course across Wyoming County. All right. So, all right. It's neat. We, we've seen the Castle Rock. I wish we could have got up closer, yeah. but that's all you can do sometimes, ain't it? I know. We do the best we can. <laughs> all righty. Well, there it is in all its glory. Yes. Castle Rock. The Castle Rock in which the town was first named for. Yeah. And it is a sandstone formation. It's really just right smack in the middle of town in a way, isn't it? Yeah, it's like right on this... Kind of a residential area. Dead-end street, yeah. yeah. So, 
But there it is. But that's the cool. best view of it, I guess. Yeah. You can't say you've been to Pineville without seeing Castle Rock. That's exactly right. We saw Castle Rock. We saw it and we showed you guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Pineville, West Virginia. Yes, and the Castle Rock above us. Yes. <laughs> All right, so if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Give thumbs us a up. thumbs up, comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel along with our new channel, Real Shane and Melody, and we'll show you guys more into our lives and behind-the-scenes stuff. Yes, including some of this day. That's exactly so right. you want to check it out, head over there right now. Yes. All right, we will see you on down, down the road. road.